Hey guys, it's your inner chakras. Welcome back to my channel, guys. If you are new here, welcome. Uh, let's just clear this energy, guys. Since I have my, my chakra bowl back in the place to be, every now and then I will use it to clear the energies. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What is going on with you and your person? What's going on in your person's psyche right now, right? What do you need to see? What are you dealing with? What's coming down the pipe? Guys, don't forget, this is a general reading. It may not, it's not a personal reading. It's not a one-to-one -one reading, but it may resonate, right? It may hit you like, damn, that's my reading, right? And then other days, it may be like, eh, that's not my reading, right? Hit or miss. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? If nothing else, guys, just pay attention to the people and energies around you guys. Every message, you can take something from it, right? Like what not to do, what to do, stuff like that. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What's going on, guys? Either this is your energy or your person's energy, right? We're going to do four across. Damn. Damn. Whoever you're dealing with, they're in straight shadow mode. We have a gambler. We have a child divine. We have a shapeshifter. And then we have an engineer. So the gambler in their shadow, it says, this person, they're taking a the gamble. They're relying on luck rather than hard work. So they're not putting in the work into whatever it is that they need to do, whatever it is that they find themselves gambling at, taking a chance at, they're not putting in the work. They're just, they're just hoping. They're sitting there hoping, crossing their fingers, crossing their toes, hoping that luck is, woo, the Messiah himself is gonna come down and say, it's your turn, right? So they're not putting in the work. They're just think shit's gonna fall in their lap, right? So then this one here says child and then divine in their shadow attribute. This person has the inability, inability to defend oneself against negative forces. So this person can't even defend themselves. Whatever is coming at this person, they can't defend themselves. They sit back and they hope that luck is going to kick in instead of doing the hard work. They're also a shapeshifter. It says here... What they do is as a shapeshifter, they project any image that serves their personal agenda in that moment. So whoever they need to be for you, they'll be. Whoever they need to be for this person, they'll be. Whoever they need to be to get through life is what they'll be, right? It's like um, it's like an onion. This person has layers. They, they're a shapeshifter. So then we have the engineer reverse. This person relies on me mechanicalistic solutions without regard for emotional consequences. So this person is a, uh, what do I call it? I call it a keyboard thug. So they're probably searching and watching and looking and digging without any regard for emotional consequences or anything. So this person will go and dig up information, whether it's good, bad, or indifferent, give it to you, throw it in your face, whatever it is. So this person is digging up information, right? They're all online. They're all online acting crazy. So it's a gambler, a child divine, a shapeshifter, and an engineer all in their shadow attribute. Holy Spirit, holy angels, say it ain't so. <laughs> What's going on with this person, Spirit? Why are they so upset? All right? Why is this person upset? So this person will do anything at the time. There'll be anyone to anyone to get past. So this person has nothing but problems. A lot of problems, a lot of burdens, a lot of issues going on. And it looks like they create the issues for themselves. Because they don't um, they rely on luck rather than putting in hard work. So they choose to carry these burdens, guys. Mm -hmm. King of Swords. 
He this this King of Swords here has has the inability to defend himself, right? He can't defend himself. He he just wants to move on. So instead of facing his problems, he'll carry these burdens and then just move on, right? So that's what this person does. And they'll be whoever they want to be in their shadow attribute with the shapeshifter. So I guess as they move on, they're going to shapeshift to this new beginning, to this, to this food cart. And they're going to be whoever they have to be for this new person. Probably you, Watcher. They're going to shapeshift. And so whatever you mold them into, they're going to shapeshift, right? This person is not up in the head anymore because they they they're using um, mechanical solutions, mechanicalistic solutions, without regard for other people's emotional feelings. So they don't care who they hurt. They're gonna shape shift their ass into your life and be who you want them to be. They don't even know who they are. But instead of standing up for themselves, they just run because they're like a divine child. Yep, there's the tower. The tower is falling. This person is just like, they're going to take a gamble and move on. There's the ace of swords. Told you. They're moving on. They're moving on and they will be who they have to be for whoever they're moving on to next. This person is like a snake. They shed their skin for the next person, right? Yeah, they're the magician. And they have manifested themselves and impressed. They done shape-shifted themselves into your life. You didn't even see it happen. In the engineer, you're probably met on a computer, online dating, something like that. They're in their shadow cells. Shadow cells. Anything else weird? Yep. This person is into the Ten of Cups. They've been doing a lot of thinking. This person is into the Ten of Cups right here. Page of Pentacles. They're ready to start a, a brand new beginning. Told you. Be careful, guys. This person could have options, or maybe they think you have options. This person's been quite busy, if you ask me. They see you as the Ten of Pentacles. That came out right on the magician. This person is manifesting you. They're going to shape shift their ass right into your life, and you don't even see it. And what they do is, guys, this person will project any image that serves them at the time. They're going to offer you this two of cups. This person is going to be whatever you want me to be, right? They see you as a wish fulfillment, their star, their everything. Be careful, guys. So this is a shapeshifter. This person can be who you want them to be temporarily until they're ready to move on. That's the only thing. Who is there, Holy Angels? What else? Spirit said, this may not be balanced, guys. The Six of Pentacles in reverse. Be careful. Spirit, what is the Six of Pentacles in reverse? Two of Pentacles. This person is going to juggle you. They're going to come in, juggle you, and then leave you. Three of Wands in reverse. Wow. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. I told you. Yep. There won't be no passion here. Ace of Wands in reverse. And then this is going to be judgment. Divine judgment. Wow. It's going to be divine judgment on you. And then there's the ending. Wall card. <clears throat> so guys, and here it is, the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands, the gambler, he's in his, he's in his attributes, guys. He's going to come in. He's leaving something right now, right? He's leaving a Ten of Cups, but he's bringing his ass to you. And he's running to you because he doesn't have the kahunas to work hard or to speak up for the things that are going on in his life, right? So... He has the inability to defend himself. So what he does is he shapeshifts to whoever you want him to be, right? So he's going to shapeshift himself into your life to be who you want him to be. He sees you as the Ten of Pentacles, the Empress, and all of that. But Spirit said this is going to be unbalanced. There will be no passion here. And you're going to get juggled. You're going to get played. And then he's going to leave you in the Three of Wands in reverse. This is going to be a divine judgment here. And then there's the World Card and ending. This is the Knight of Wands, guys. So know this, a gambler is coming into your life who shapeshifts into the man you want him to be. And then when he's done with you, he leaves. And then he'll just shapeshift. He'll just reform out. Right? I'm not saying he turns into vampires and shit. He'll turn into the man you want him to be for as long as he needs to get up on his feet or to bounce. So he's bringing with you these burdens. All right, guys. 
you've been warned. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.